This program contains views and opinions that may not be suitable for all audiences. Audience discretion is advised. Welcome to Constructive Deconstruction, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Gomer the Ranting Thespian, and my co-host, as always, are Holly Christine and Gonzo Link. Hello. Hello there. And I'm just waiting one of these days, considering both of you have basically two name introductions, I'm going to one day end up saying... Holly Link and Gonzo Christine or something like that. Just mark my words. It's going to happen. Oh, yeah. Give it time. <laughs> yes. Oh. And, and hopefully they will not destroy your faith in humanity. However, we did find 38 things. Thank you, BuzzFeed. BuzzFeed.com for all of your list listing and, and silly things needs. Yes, because All your clickbait titles that you yeah. could ever want. All your time-wasting needs. Yes. Hello, procrastination. <laughs> like, yeah. I need any help with that. Oh, of course. It's your procrastination destination. <laughs> ah. 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 Oh, yes. Oh, so so the day we were recording this, in fact, right as we started recording this, uh, Thespian Talk 100 went up. And it's like, yay! Uh, I, hope people, I hope people enjoyed it. And if you're listening, if you've listened to it, thank you. If you haven't listened to it, go listen to it. <laughs> Because then you not only get a double dose of me, you get a double dose of Holly. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, so, so BuzzFeed, it, it, and it is something we tend to go back to on these shows as well, both here and on Thespian Talk. We'll grab up a BuzzFeed list and we'll talk about it, and, and it's usually some good conversation starters and conversation pieces too. <laughs> but much like that crystal, like that crystal pelican you keep on the coffee table. Yeah, that that thing. <laughs> <laughs> that crystal pelican. Yeah. Ah. I don't know. I, I just I just think set piece uh, a crystal a uh, bird bird uh, pelican. Well, I don't know. I mean, I have a crystal giraffe myself, so. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about uh, you guys. Uh, you don't. No, I, I I don't actually have a crystal giraffe or a crystal pelican. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. But, yeah. So so we have here this Buzzfeed list: thirty-eight Yahoo questions that will destroy your faith in humanity. Mm. And this even ties in a little bit to uh, Thespian Talk, because I, I went on a lot with, uh, with the history of the show on, on episode 100 there. But I forgot to mention that at one point we tried actually looking up some of these Yahoo answers and just ripping them, ripping them a little bit, riffing them, ripping into them, whatever. I don't know what word I want to use there. And, and basically just read them, make fun of them, maybe give a serious answer if it's something that's you know like a serious question or whatever. But you know something like that. It got a. It was a little stale. But things like this, they're all together. You have all of the stupid and the moronic and just the what the fuck and the right. Yeah. In it, one it place, is... this is better. Oh. Yeah. Uh, um, Yahoo uh, questions are a weird, a weird place because there are a lot of people who, you know, ask perfectly legitimate questions, and I've you know just sort of gone there myself and gotten a few perfectly legitimate answers. I don't think I've ever actually asked a question myself, but there's always, always invariably the question that you're looking for. And usually an answer that's pretty close to the, you know, what, what, what actually it it is. So it's, it's, it's helpful. It is a a useful tool, but again, with all the other places of the internet that become insanely popular, it's just also got a lot of really weird people and a lot of very ill-informed people. And, then people who just decide to make fun of those people. Oh, yes. That's where we come in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Doing our I'll... part. Yes. All right. So the first one on here. Only serious mermaid spells, please. And, and you know, if you haven't read this and, and you're just listening to this for the first time, you're thinking, wait, what the fuck? Here's the question. Is there a spell to become a mermaid that actually works? I would like to know if there is a spell available to become a mermaid, one that works. I am asking people that believe in mermaids. Don't say things like, mermaids don't exist, because I take it very seriously and I find it offensive. Please help me find a spell! But I'm also a witch. And I know it's supposed to be by the way, but I'm being literal. Good twist. Good twist. I would have gone with like BT Dub, but, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, either way is valid, I suppose. But <laughs> to become a mermaid, yeah, you know you you, and you know what you actually can become sort of a mermaid in reality. It, it doesn't require magic; it just requires a mermaid costume. 
you know, or you yeah. like sew your legs together. Yeah, that that's a bit more painful though. Ugh. Or yeah, or you could just go with a costume. Yeah. Because yeah. Liz has that mermaid tail. I was about to mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and and yes, there is video evidence of Liz and mermaid tail. I like. Mm. <laughs> and and yeah. I think her viewers liked it as well. I think I know I think it was her other crossover with Obscurus Lupa with that one. Yeah. So now you know where to look. <laughs> uh, all right. I tell you, questions yeah, like, like these. I, I almost want to know what the answer was. <laughs> I do too. It's like this is like kind of. Yeah, uh, yeah. Th- that's the unfortunate thing in this article. No, there are no answers, and nobody really picked an answer or an- tried to answer the question. But I guess, I guess whatever answers, I guess were not worthy enough to be said. Yeah, they'll destroy your faith in humanity. They're just like you know. Sticking the finger in the eye answers and that sort of thing is just eh. so. yeah. I don't know. I, the, the first thing that I honestly kind of thought of when I uh, when I read this is that it it reminded me of the moment that of my childhood. Actually, this is kind of going off on a bit of a tangent, but when I realized that Santa wasn't real, oh, because I remember writing in a letter to him the night before Christmas. I want a magic turban that can actually make magic spells because I've been playing this game, uh, The Magical Quest, starring Mickey Mouse, which had a magical turban, and I wanted it. And I was just like, <laughs> I want a magic turban, real magic, not fake. And then in Santa's letter back to me, uh, he wrote something like, I can't actually get you a magic turban, but the magic is inside of you. And I was just like... <laughs> Okay, this wow. This is <laughs> That's so magic's not real, huh? Thank you for dispelling that notion, Santa. Yeah. <laughs> sure, magic isn't real, but I can you know, fly around the world in one night and give presents to all these kids. Yeah. yeah. Something started to click in my head. It's like maybe this is all bullshit. Yeah, just maybe. <laughs> but uh, I still get presents, so it's all good. Yeah. Presents are always good. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So the second one, I believe the term is little people. I, I I'm starting to think that these these uh these uh numbers are starting to give them away. So maybe maybe I'll not do that. But uh, the question is, do midgets have night vision? One of my friends told me that midgets have night vision, but I wasn't sure if it was true. I know a little person from school, so I called him up and asked him. He didn't say anything and just hung up. So I'm pretty confused. Can anyone help me? And they have additional details. Thanks for the answers, but I'm still a little confused. Does she think I made fun of her night vision? Or is it or that it's just a rumor and that offended her? I'm I'm confused because the original question says he, but the follow up says she. It did did the oh. did the question just did did the, the, the little person in question, like, go through a transition between those two points? Or uh, um, are they just, just, are they gender fluid? I, I don't know. I or, think the or... person was probably just hastily typing. Although, again, it's, although it's kind of difficult to mistype he and she because they're pretty far apart on the keyboard. Yeah. Yes, and, you know, yes and the H, so. Yeah. D- yeah, that's, I don't know. With, with Yahoo questions it also helps to take them with a grain of salt because since there are so many people asking legitimately stupid questions there's always the possibility that maybe this person is just like putting one on to try and become popular through you know yeah. unscrupulous means yeah which well they, they might have they're on BuzzFeed so it might yeah. have worked took them four years but might have worked <laughs> <laughs> That was my plan all along. Yes. All along. All right, number three. Are skeletons real or made up? My mom says she was (sighs) once chased by a skeleton, but I don't think skeletons are real. Please help me. That's right, kids. You don't have any bones at all. Those are just fake. It's all made up. (laughs) X-rays? Oh, that's all a big joke. Yeah. The hospitals. I mean, just trying I, to get more of your money. I'm I'm just waiting for somebody to see that and really start quest- seriously questioning it, and then go and like break literally break his own arm to the point where you can see bone and be like, <laughs> oh shit, skeletons are real. I need a oh, doctor yeah, that's, now. That, that's 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 real. So is, so is pain. 
the yeah. pain is very, very real. Yeah. Yeah, just slightly. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> These next two. <laughs> oh, no. These next two. Oh. What if the girl thinks I'm the dad is... What if the girl that thinks I'm the dad isn't the mom? What? Oh. <laughs> I slept with a girl, and now she's oh. pregnant. There's two possible fathers, though, and neither of us thinks think it's us anyways. What if she's really not the mom to begin with? Will it be another guy's child? Help! Yeah, I dude, think you need dude, help, Dude, she's man. pregnant. She has to be the mom. It's, yeah. It's the only actual, like, definite thing about this situation. Like, she's yeah. very yeah. clearly pregnant. Yeah. She's definitely the mother. The only way she couldn't be the mother is if she was a surrogate, and I- I'm going to take a wild guess, and I'm going to take a wild leap and guess that that's probably not an option in this case because of yeah. money. Because you know, I, yeah. I don't think anybody can just go up to somebody on the street and say, hey, hey, be a surrogate for my baby. Well, you I mean, know, even so, you know, even, even if it is a surrogate child, that still technically makes her the mother. It's just like, you know, now yeah. half her baby. Well, yeah. Or a quarter or a third or... I, I don't, I don't get how, how that breaks down. That. Yeah. Yeah, that would that would be some weird I mean, It still technically is the uh, the donor's genetics that, that are being passed along, but the the host is y- y- still hosting. passing along. Host still hosting? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I really, I really don't, don't know how all that works, but yeah. Yeah. E- even so... Oh lordy, and and uh, and oh god, how am I sure I'm the real mom of my kid? Before I go any further into this, I just want to point out that this person, this woman, did not capitalize I on its own, but capitalized I in I'm. How do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, how do you do this? <laughs> no, it's just because she capitalizes it later on. It's yeah, the it's first, probably just, just the first one. Oh, no, no, no. She, there's another one where she does not capitalize oh, it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I guess there are two. <laughs> oh, God. Mm. Oh, God. So, so okay, how am I sure I'm the real mom of my kid? I just had a baby, and it looks more like the man I had my baby with. It doesn't look like me at all, and I'm scared that he was cheating on me with another lady, and I had her kid. This child is the best thing that ever happened to me. I can't imagine giving my baby to the real mom. How do ick? How do ick? <laughs> How do ick? And, and again, for those for those who don't get the joke, I I know it is I K I know, it's a joke. Uh, I hope to not have to explain that joke again. <laughs> oh, again with like the, the 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 surrogate thing. I mean, like that's the only possible explanation, and even then, like how how, how could that she, happen? Yeah, how yeah. does she think that her? Her man, I guess I don't know if it was her husband or not. No, it's just just her man. Yeah, how does she think her man got her pregnant with some other woman's baby? Yeah, it's like, it's like what was she doing? Like, Sleeping what? and then they're like, okay, let's take this embryo and just shove it right up there. <laughs> there you go. You know. Get it in there. She needs to be fooled. Yes. Yeah, it, it takes two people to, to get pregnant, but... Um, if you are pregnant, you have to be one of those two people. <laughs> just, just, yeah. just kind of there. This two little people pro-tip. or an illicit third person holding a turkey baster. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> oh. But if you were the one that actually physically had a baby, then you are already involved in this process. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. And the next one, number six. I don't know if my daughter is mine. I don't know if my daughter is mine. I gave birth to her, but I'm not sure if it's my boyfriend cheating on me and I had his other girlfriend's baby. Can someone help? Two in a row! Oh, and she's a Holly. Oh, Holly, no. I'm so disappointed in you. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Man, how down. the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Holly. Holly, go to the doctor. Have your tubes tied. You are not allowed to have any more children. <laughs> yes, just just take yourself out of the gene pool now. It'll be Thank it'll you. be easier on us later on. And bring your baby over to somewhere that'll give them a good education, because clearly you didn't get one. Yeah, yeah, and preferably an education that will involve you know something outside of Texas. <clears throat> mm. uh, number seven. 
are there any autographs of Jesus Christ? I know there are autographs of Babe Ruth, of John Lennon, and George Washington. Are there any autographs of Jesus Christ that are either on eBay or in people's houses? You know, this is the kind of person that some unscrupulous cry. Fucker, no. some unscrupulous fucker would look at this question and be like, yes, and like sign something as Jesus Christ and sell it to this person and, and just like snow them out of like hundreds of dollars. Because it's just, and, and you know, you know that they would use a picture of the Buddy Christ too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I, and I just love the, the the title to this entry too, which is "You're the Tops, Love Jesus." Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just sure, I'll give you an autograph of Jesus Christ. Here you go. Yeah, I got one right here. Whoop. That reminds me of a conversation I was having with my mom. Uh oh. Um, and. <laughs> My mom is a very, very sweet lady, but sometimes just, you know, not all of the thoughts really process through her head before she gets them out. Yeah. And uh, I think it was talking about uh, Jesus Christ Superstar. And she was like, yeah, it, it's coming back and it's going to have the original Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 I was like, I'm sorry, Mom, what? <laughs> what he will me? return. Apparently. Yeah. yeah. On Broadway. <laughs> On Broadway. <laughs> oh. I have oh. returned my children to make my debut on Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're ready to be saved. Oh, God. Because <laughs> I'm going to do it in song. Yeah, I was like, oh, Mama, I don't, I don't really think that's what you meant. <laughs> Yeah, no. no. Yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> although, although you know, if if somebody were to make like a musical adaptation out of some out of some certain stories of the Bible, that might be an, a more interesting watch. You know? Oh yeah, I, I would a watch a Bible-based of, musical. They made a musical out of like Lot and Sodom and Gomorrah. Oh seriously? That, that would I would I would I would pay to see that. There you go. <laughs> oh. I mean, yeah, I would if, if for no other reason than how they would work a song into the the bit about Lot wanting to give up his daughters instead of the angels to be raped. Yeah, yeah, that would be. Oh, and that's, mean, and that's another thing. Would you would you play that dark, or would you just go against? I the feel floor? like that's a bad joke waiting to happen. Oh, yeah, rape my yeah. daughters, please. Oh, God. <laughs> Take my daughters, please. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. God. <laughs> oh no. The question is, do you turn it into like you know a cabaret style song, a you know, or a, like a a somber Les Mis piece? No, I was yeah. thinking cabaret style. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you save the Les Mis piece for when uh, Lot's wife gets turned into a pillar of salt. There yeah. we go. Because there's oh. the drop. Yes. Yes. Okay. I, I, okay, I gotta move on before I start writing musical numbers here. Alright, number eight. Number eight. How do I unbake a cake? And that's it. I, I just... <laughs> why would you want to unbake a cake? You, you don't unbake like, a cake. You, I just... Like, I don't understand the purpose of unbaking oh. it. Crap, I forgot to add vanilla. Can, how do I return this thing to its component parts again? <laughs> I want well, to start over, and I don't want to waste any money. Well, you need to go out to a cornfield and make a crop circle that spells out doctor, and then eventually this blue guy in a, this guy in a blue box will come, and you can ask him to take it back in time for a little bit. Oh. Yeah, that's probably the most complicated way to do it, but hey. I also just marathoned a little bit of Doctor Who the other day, so. <laughs> I think I need to go make some crop circles now. There you go. Uh, yeah, but you'd have to do it in a way that, like, you'd either have to be super fast because you can't meet yourself. Yeah. So. This is true. Oh, yeah. You just have to, like, run up to yourself really quick, just conk yourself on the head, and then write a note that says, add vanilla. Yeah. Oh, so many questions, and it all involves time travel. I love it. Yes. <laughs> Alright, number nine. I swallowed an ice cube whole and I haven't pooped it out? I'm really scared. Is it stuck? <laughs> yes, James. Yes. <laughs> it's stuck. Oh, God. 
Pro tip. It'll be in your system forever. It's just like gum. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, uh, pro pro tip, uh, Mr. Russell's here. Um, ice is frozen water, and when you take the ice out of the freezer, it starts melting pretty much immediately. Not necessarily quickly, but immediately. And so when it's introduced to your body, which is yeah, about an average of 98.6 degrees, it's going to melt pretty goddamn fast. I'm a little yeah. horrified by the next question, by the way. I was reading ahead. Oh, God. I think, I've, I think I've seen this one around, but it's still, holy shit. Yeah. Oh, gross. Oh, so yeah. So grossed out. Number 10. Did I turn my boyfriend into a vampire? I don't know. Did you bite him? Oh. So, okay. So I have a new Where? boyfriend. Yay. And we have been seeing each other for about a month now. Mm. Anyway, the other night we had a Twilight marathon. I love Twilight. Oh, you poor man. Oh. And and a dream of mine is about is to have a vampire boyfriend. I'm reading what I want to apparently. I've been experimenting with eating my own blood ever since the Twilight books first came out. I consider myself to be a vampire now. Uh, Usually I just save the blood I lose naturally each month. I use yeah, oh, yep, everybody, oh, that's, that's exactly what you oh, think it is. Yes. Oh my god. And she yeah. sucks on them and eats or eats them later. Ugh. That's not the worst part. I decided I would try and turn my new boyfriend, so I've been cooking my blood into his food when he comes over. I've tried making blood pudding as well, but that only works if I've had a heavy flow, because you need a lot of blood. So I usually just add a little bit of blood into the marinade or pasta sauce, etc., etc. He has absolutely no idea. Mm. I've been doing this for about three or four weeks. Do you think he would be a vampire by now? I know one thing. If he sees this, you'll probably be single by now. I'm out, guys. Yeah. Have, yeah. have fun hosting the show by yourselves. I'm done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's like, not oh, what shit. I signed up for. Jesus. <laughs> oh, I was like, like holy, holy shit. shit. How do you even respond to that? I don't even. I can't uh, even. So the funny thing to notice about this question, though, is that all of these other questions are up for, like, years, and then somebody stumbles across them. This one was up for ten minutes before somebody took a screenshot. Yeah. <laughs> someone, someone was like, I need to preserve this right yeah. the shit now. Holy like, fuck. Oh, yep, yes. nope, definitely taking a screenshot of that. <laughs> it's just, oh, shit. Just, ugh. No. No, and I and, and it just no, no. Just uh, I I just save the blood I use loose naturally and suck on them or eat them later. God, There's a, no ham uh, popsicles, that... really. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think uh, we know what the episode title is now. <laughs> <laughs> Can we move on, please? <laughs> yes, let's let's. Okay, I I I got I got an I've got to unbreak. Okay, yeah. okay. Ah, all right. Number eleven. Are there birds in Canada? I'm thinking of visiting and might bring my camera, so I'm curious to know if they have any birds. I know they have moose. Holly, you've been to Canada. Do they have birds? Yeah, there are definitely birds there. Um, yep. Plus, you know, whoever asked this question, Canadian geese. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> It's yeah, got I mean, Canada it's, in the name. Yeah, pretty sure. It's yeah, Canada. Also, you know their uh, their state, you know their state uh, currency is called the loony, and it has it has birds on it. There you go. Got a bird. Yeah. I will say though, just as somebody, I don't, well, I don't live in Canada, but as someone from Alaska who is basically Canada's hat, there are a lot of moose up in this region. Like they're pretty much as common as stray dogs. Oh wow. See, yeah. So you leave food out for the moose and and. Have a me- uh, a no, you, you don't. You don't do that. Ah, uh, um, that would have been I mean, so cool. There, are, there are some people who have like, who who will leave food out for them. It's generally just not. I don't think it's illegal per se, but it's it's definitely not encouraged. Mostly because moose can kind of be territorial. Uh, well, I mean, not not really. I mean, moose moose are actually pretty chill. Uh, they don't they won't bother you if you don't bother them. And the only time that they'll really really get aggressive is if you get between a mama and her baby. and Or if you get, like, just sort of too close to them and you're, like, being acting aggressive. But otherwise, I mean, 
it's it's not encouraged that you just walk up to them, but if you're like on the porch and they're like right up next to you, they're not gonna like try and bite you or anything. Oh, that's good. So yeah, yeah I I would probably still you know calmly stand up and walk inside because <laughs> it's it's yeah. a big animal, and if they I are. did something wrong, I would be fucked up. Oh yeah, they they will kick. Yeah, and, and, and they are big. And it would it would and it would be my luck that I, I would forget that and try and pet and then I would still end up in my living room just not through the door. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, number twelve. Can I safely look at a picture of the sun? I know it's bad to look at the sun, but what if I took a picture of it with my phone? Would it still ruin my eyes? Uh, uh, it wouldn't ruin your eyes, I don't think. Sun works. Yeah. Uh, it wouldn't ruin your eyes. I don't know how it would do for your camera, though. Well, right. if, if you're looking through your camera, if it's like an actual camera, that's not a good idea. But if you're using a digital camera and you're looking at an image, then it is okay. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, it's it's just a static image. It's probably going to be you know, sending off a lot of just light on the screen, but it's not going to be... It, it is not the same intensity as looking at the sun. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Number 13. How can I change my race? And that's not uh, even that's that's not even the, the, the most... Watch Tropic Thunder. Yeah, yeah it, 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 it actually gets worse if, if you yeah. read the detail. Yes. Yeah. Last year, I was a Catholic, but I'm bored with that now. Good for you. I've been thinking for the next year or so I'd like to be either Chinese or Russian. How can I change my race? <laughs> I... I think you're a little fuzzy on what the word race means. Yeah. yeah Catholicism because, because is not a race. Catholicism, Chinese, and Russian is apparently now its own race also. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's like, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> the Russian race, there you go. Oh. <laughs> oh. But there, uh, but I'm sure there there might be surgeries you can go through, and, you know, if you really want to change your race. No, no, don't do that. Stay the, stay the race you are. Now, if you want to change religion, we can help you with that. Oh, yeah. But we, we can't change you from a religion to a race or, or, or an offshoot of a race or a nationality. We, we can't do that for you. Sorry. Again, unless you're a super popular, famous actor who's trying to expand his uh, repertoire. Yeah. <sighs> and uh, even then, don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> It's generally not encouraged unless you are openly mocking the idea of doing that. Again, yes. going back to Tropic Thunder. There you go. Number 14. Why do lizards die? No. And that's it. That's it. That's that's all yeah. there is. It's like... Apparently they're only interested in why lizards die. Not yeah. any other thing ever. Well, Just little, lizards. <laughs> well, little Mary T, I have some bad news for you. We're all going to die. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. But we're all going to die. Thank you, too. Someday, eventually, and for the rest of your life? <laughs> yes, <laughs> we all will die. <laughs> we are all going to die. Uh, all men must die. Yes, but if you want to know why lizards in particular die, it's because your daddy touches himself at night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. That just seems like one of those questions that... You, that it's perfect to just put that line in there or something similar. It's like, why, why does this happen? Because you touch yourself at night. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, number 15. Oh, Lordy. Oh. Is it illegal to kill an ant? No. With about eight question marks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just to let them know that, you, that they are, like, super curious, that they really yes. want to know. Okay. Yeah. So today I was walking down the street and there was an ant on a puppy. So I stepped on the ant and killed it. A police officer gave me a very dirty look and so did a lot of other people around. So I was wondering if it is it illegal to kill an ant. I'm super serious. This isn't a joke. Um, you did. I... You may have. You may have stepped on and killed an ant. Sure. Okay. You know, good for you. That's not illegal. But uh, the fact that you basically kicked a puppy. <laughs> I don't think she means that she stepped on the puppy to kill the ant. I assume that she took the ant off of the puppy. I hope. I hope so. I hope so. I hope right. 
but then you know, like, well, then where did all those dirty looks come from? I mean, was I? I, I don't know. I I probably would have given her a dirty look just because I would have been like, "What are you doing? Like, <laughs> you're outside. Why are you killing this ant?" I don't know. Confused. Yeah. I was like, "Why are you stamping the ground? Like, are are you are you mad?" Uh, well, yeah, like, I'm I'm really thinking, like, I would be looking very confused, but it would be very easy to read that as a dirty look, so. Yeah. I don't know, just the way this is written, it definitely sounds like, she's like, I saw an ant on a, on a puppy, and so then I stepped on the ant, and it's yeah, just that, like. Yeah, that's true, there's, there's no explanation there about that, so it does, yeah. 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 It it does make it seem like she just like stamped on Step, the puppy and Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and even the even the article writer mentions that's not what you did and you know it. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, uh, number 16. <clears throat> Why do crocodiles walk so gaily? They walk like they got their nails done or something. I, Thank I, you, cat who is chilling for that insight. Yeah, I I you know I live in Florida, but I don't live in, in the part that's like totally infested with alligators or crocodiles or anything. You know, I'm in the, I'm in the north part. I'm in the taint, and I've seen so in, as such, I've seen very few gators actually walking. You know, mm-hmm. in person, I've seen enough on film to be able to to say, uh, no, not quite, not not like quite got their nails done. Maybe enough to push themselves up to where they're not scraping their belly along the ground, but. You know, not, not not like they got their nails done. I don't know. I've just always seen like crocodiles and gators sort of they they just like walk around slowly, like they're just sort of confused and like out of place almost. They're just like, oh, what's going on over here? Their yeah. food, something to do. I saw a post on Tumblr that actually described them as like sort of they're they're almost like stoners. They just like <laughs> hang around and. Like it's only if you encroach on their territory that they'll get aggressive. Other otherwise, they just don't really give a shit. Yeah. Oh, number seventeen. Keeping with the reptile theme, how do I test to see if my turtle is gay? Um, I just want to see if there are any methods to see if my turtle is gay. Well, take your turtle, put it with another turtle of the same sex. If they if there's the attraction there and they start the turtle boink or whatever then yeah they your turtle is gay otherwise Why does it who gives if your a shit gay? <laughs> i don't know the only reason i could see possibly wanting to know is pure curiosity or just you know homophobia yeah cuz it's like i don't want to be around an animal that supports that sick degenerate lifestyle or or they want to make their turtle totally fabulous and <laughs> <laughs> And I, I just don't, I just want to make sure he's he's okay with that because I don't want to force him to do something that he's not comfortable with. I don't think your turtle <laughs> is gonna give a shit. If, as long as you're not trying to boil it and eat it, I don't think it's gonna give a shit. Yeah, as long as it's not in ha- Cannibal Holocaust, I think I think he's gonna be cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, number eighteen. Do you think NASA invented thunderstorms to cover up the sound of space battle? <laughs> That's right, kids. <laughs> Because there were no thunderstorms before NASA existed. Uh, are you yeah, a, weather okay. was not a thing before before space travel came along. Okay, is this person a Tumblr night blogger? Because that, that is something that you would see. Yeah, Robert, are you on Tumblr? <laughs> yes. I know everybody named Robert listening to this show is like, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> I have a blog, I just haven't really touched it in a while. Yeah. Uh, number 19. Is The Hunger Games based on a true story? I was watching The Hunger Games. Is it true? Like, did it happen to Nazis after World War II? Yes. Society is, is, it was drastically different from the way your history is, your history books have told you in school. Uh, <laughs> First of if, all. if you ever actually read any of them, which I'm uh, going to yeah. go out and live and assume you didn't. <laughs> Yeah. Read your uh, history books, then actually try reading the hundred Hunger Games books, because if you actually know anything about the hun- Hunger Games, it's actually taking place in America. <laughs> so. Yeah, just slightly. Mm. Uh, yeah. Oh, God. Number 20. If, ele- if evolution is true, then why hasn't my dog turned into an elephant? Because you haven't leveled it up enough, duh! <laughs> 
Oh. If that doesn't work, use a stone on it. There you go. Or, or trade it while holding an item or something. Wait, that's Pokemon. <laughs> not how uh, evolution works. No, evolution no. does not work like Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, don't don't take your uh, don't 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 try and find evolution criticism points from Kurt Cameron. Crocoduck oh. is the, the whole Crocoduck. Do, do you know about the Crocoduck thing? Yes. Oh my God. God, I fucking Crocoduck. I just I. Do. I, uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. You've never heard of the Crocoduck? No. Um, really? Okay. Well, do you know who Kurt Cameron is? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, there was a time. I think it was back in like 2007 or 2008 when he was going on these talk shows and he had these debates and he kept, he was talking in defense of intelligent design and cre- or creationism and just saying like, if evolution is true, then how come we've never found a fossil of this? And he holds up a picture of a duck with a crocodile's head and calls it a crocoduck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, <What>? really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not how evolution works, guys. No. And there was just this one video where he tries showing that off and being like, "Wow, well, uh, you, you beat that atheist or evolutionist." And the people he was debating against, one of them just she just hung her head in her in her hands, and the other guy just looks at him like with this look of "you dumb fuck" and just sl- <laughs> just subtly shakes his head like, "Oh Jesus." <laughs> it's it's like, can you be real, dude? Oh. <laughs> How how are you real and how do it, how does anybody take you seriously? Also, yeah, and his other and Kirk's partner in that debate was Ray the Banana Man Comfort. It's just raw shape for the human mouth. <laughs> Bananas are divine proof of God's something because it holds in your hand. It's got ridges on the side. It's got a non-stick surface. It's got a tab at the top for easy opening, and it's angled towards your mouth. Yeah, well, you know, Hero there are other fit. things I can I can angle towards my mouth. Um, let's see, there's this Powerade bottle that I've got here. It's non-stick. I can, I can grip it pretty well. I open it up, and I can angle it towards my mouth. So were these Powerade bottles made by God then using that particular or using that particular set? No, Gomer, of you don't understand. Mm. <laughs> they were created out of God's divine greatness. And, um, you know, he bestowed that knowledge upon a man to create the power aid bottle. So. By the way, if none of you have ever seen the uh, what I'm talking about, go to YouTube and look up The Atheist's Nightmare. It's about a minute long, and it's Ray Comfort essentially describing how a banana can fit in your ass without <laughs> actually making it about that. Oh, wow. And, and, if, it can fit that, if it can fit that comfortably and that perfectly in your mouth... There's also somewhere else I can go. Yeah, and you know what? Some cucumbers would also fall into the same thing. Just yeah. saying. So, okay. and one final we point. We don't need before... to talk about. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> one final point before we move on, though. Just not um, the bananas that we actually know and eat are very, very different from natural wild-grown bananas because they're uh, full of seeds, have very little in the way of edible edible pulp, and they're actually like kind of small. So, bananas, as we know them today, are actually proof of evolution. There you go. Oh, and to keep on the evolutionary path, (laughs) if evolution is true, then why do pigs not have wings? Well, because that would ruin the saying. Yeah. It it, it would be like, it would be unfair. We'd have to remove something from our lexicon, and that's just not cool. Yeah. Um... Oh. Because really, we, we actually made sure that there were no pigs with wings. Because do you really want a pig flying over your car and, and taking a shit on it? I don't oh, think God. you do. No. It would be the worst idea ever. It would. That's why I'm thankful there are like no extremely large birds or, or large dinosaurs anymore. Because can you imagine walking out in a pterodactyl just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That, that kind of reminds me of a bit that Louis C.K. did about how... We as human beings have made it out of the food chain, and how much? How is like how bad would it suck if we were still in the food chain? Like if if we had to like just go to work and like then a cheetah just started chasing us. It was just like a thing you had to deal with. Like ah, oh, <laughs> damn it! Like my my alarm didn't go off. My toast got burnt, and now this 
goddamn leopard is chasing me down the street. What could possibly go wrong? Then a pterodactyl swoops up and shakes you out of the sky. Yeah. Oh, oh lordy. Number 22. Can you actually lose weight by rubbing your stomach? I am 5'5", five five and I weigh 220, and I'm 26, year old, 26 years old. My 14-year-old daughter is embarrassed to be around me, and it's going to take... Whoa, wait, wait, what? wait, wait, wait. Whoa. 14-year-old yeah. daughter at 26? So, so you were 12? Um, either either wow. you had her at 12, or you adopted her at, at, at a certain you know at, at, a, at a certain point i'm hoping yeah. it's the latter but that would oh, make but, more sense but I, yeah. oh moving on please yes okay <laughs> uh she's embarrassed to be around me and it's going to take a long time to lose all this weighted weighed so i heard that if i rub my hands together re for really quickly around 15 seconds and then rubbing around your belly button makes you lose weight is this true has anyone tried that and did it work for you no I rub my belly. Uh, in fact, I'm rubbing it right now, and it, it feels, well, kind of weird, a little jiggly, maybe a little ticklish, but it's not doing anything for my weight. It, it's, it's just – it's like those old uh, – uh, what the hell do you call them? They're like you put the belt around you, and it just kind of jiggles your stomach a little bit and didn't really do anything. It's something oh, like oh, that. Oh, those things. Like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what they're called, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah. And, and you, you know, some listeners out there being like, it's this thing, you asshole. Uh, but... It's the thing from Pee Wee's Playhouse. I don't yeah. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> yeah. I always remember it from that this, this one scene in uh, Blast from the Past where uh, it's like near the end and Brendan Fraser's parents are still down in the uh, the fallout shelter and like his dad's reading a book and then the camera just slowly pans over to his mom who's like, like strapped into one of those things and it was always one of those scenes that made my parents just absolutely howl with laughter because it was just so subtle and I was just like wait what what is that thing it's like it was something that was supposed to help make you lose weight and they don't they totally don't no <laughs> so yeah, it like, might be okay. good for other things but weight loss is not one of them oh <laughs> seriously <laughs> Uh, uh, Domer, you had to know he was going to go there. Yes. Yeah. And the thing is, you don't know which direction there I was going. Because you could set it up and have it, you know, shake your milk. Have, Whoa! You know. <laughs> there is a hawk outside my window. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's uh, just that we were talking about giant birds, and then there's a giant bird. <laughs> holy shit. Nice. All right. So number 23. How turn computer monitor into mirror? Not how do I, just how turn. How turn! Boom, boom. Hi, does anyone know if it's possible to use a background that would essentially turn my monitor, computer monitor, into a mirror? Scanning a mirror doesn't work. <laughs> I love that they tried, though. <laughs> and, you know, they, they tried to solve their own problem first. Yeah. So, you know, I, I don't completely hate humanity. Just, you know... Just... Skinny this is one of, your, like, one of those gold stars with just the you, you tried. tried. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes. But see, here's the thing. If you want some monitors, and I know mine is definitely one of them, you could turn off the screen and there you are. It is reflection. And there you go. That's how you do it. But I think what this person wants to do is to simply have that as a background you know, like on their desktop background, and then they can look through and just have fun with all the little, you know, the, the desktop icons and everything. But it doesn't work that way. Sorry, buddy. No. I'm sure there's probably something to download, but... Yeah. Unless you get, like, oh. Unless it's, like, a complete back, black, totally black background. That might work. But other than that, there's no real way to do it. Yeah, I think and, they're, like... Yeah. Just uh, working like, a webcam, kid. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Uh, so, let's see. Number 24. 60 seconds and one minute aren't really the same? Oh, boy. This is a bit, this is a I, bit I of a random... I love this, like, <laughs> how much thought they've put into this to try and figure this out. Yes. Yeah, they, like, they show their work. <laughs> yeah. They, <laughs> there's, there's math involved, guys. Prepare for math. This is a bit of a random question, but the answer has been bugging me for a long time. Okay, so, on a microwave, if you push 60, it will 
then it will cook for 60 seconds or one minute. Following me. And if you also press 100, it will cook for one minute or 60 seconds, right? Right? Okay. Well, my question is if you add one minute plus one minute, it is two minutes, right? So your food will cook for a total of two minutes. But if you add 60 seconds plus 60 seconds, it will only cook for one minute and 20 seconds, even though 60 seconds is one minute. I know, confusing question. I guess to put it into simplest terms, how come one minute plus one minute equals two minutes, but 60 seconds plus 60 seconds equals only one minute and 20 seconds? Because when you put your numbers into a microwave, once you hit that third number, then that third number automatically becomes the minute. Like, like, like you could put in the 60 seconds and it'll still be a minute. You could put in up to 99 seconds and it will go to a minute 39. And this is something I kind of figured out, oh, I want to say around elementary to middle school. Well, it's just like, yeah, this person, it seems like they, they understood that a minute is 60 seconds long. But then at some point during this whole thing, they just had like a, a brain a, a brain mis, misplacement or something. I don't even really know what they're called. Brain fart, if you want to. Uh, and just was like, oh, but a minute, it's 100 seconds, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what it seems like it, it came down to for them. It was like, but if that's a minute, then how come, you know, 120 seconds is one minute, 20 seconds, and not two minutes. Uh, yeah. That's, that's not how those things add up. <laughs> no. No. No, no you, 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 you you got the minute and 60 seconds equality thing right. That That's that's fine. You just need to realize how a microwave works. And speaking of people who need to learn how microwaves work, number 25, is it possible to make toast in a microwave? Please, I am craving toast, pregnant, and at work. No. Period question mark. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of period question marks I've noticed, but um, but no, I no no, you can't really make toast in a microwave because see, if that were possible, I've heated up many a sandwich in the microwave over the years, and not one of them would come out toasted. Sometimes soggy as fuck, but not. Um, toasted. there is actually okay. So this is this is actually a question that has a real answer to it, and the answer is actually yes. Oh really? You can. Um, they make special, um, like, trays that you can put stuff on that will crisp up the, the bottom of something. So yeah. um, I'm pretty sure that you could, if you used it on both sides, then you could essentially make toast. Oh. Well, yeah, I know Stouffer's has those, uh, like, panini makers that you yeah. can just use in the microwave. Hmm. Um, well, you learn something new every day. <laughs> <laughs> and th and this question was submitted seven years ago too. So wow. So yeah, this they probably didn't know about this when they asked this question, but yeah. Just so you know, it is actually possible. You just have to have the right thing to do it. Right. Exactly. Like, like doing baked potatoes in a microwave. They have this thing you can put the potatoes in and put them in there. Boom. Uh, we just use this, don't we... wrap them in tin foil. Please no. No. And for the, for the majority of the people who submitted these questions, that's probably a good thing to have to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, number 26. Why does my cat vibrate? Her chest always vibrates when like she has worms or something in her. Is it normal? When she vibrates, she makes a tiny vibrate noise and is scaring me because it doesn't seem normal. That sounds like your cat is purring. Yeah. Yeah. That's like a purr, dude. Happy. When she makes a tiny vibrate noise, it's like, um, yeah, that would, that would be purring. <laughs> yeah, that would be purring. Just just hold your cat in your arms or, or, or on your chest or, or wherever and, and just pet. Pet the kitty. Pet the kitty. Pet the kitty. Oh, the kitty. <laughs> <laughs> Are there gravity in India? Do they got spicy food or good food? I heard in Swidland, Swidl, Swidwald, Swidwald. Swidwald. Huh. What the hell? That's, that's not even close to a place. I don't think it is. The toilets flush upwards. What? Like, this whole question. Switzerland, Sweden. Um, there, there is no consistency in any in any of this Swaziland? question. Swaziland. I don't like. 
I don't know. Are there gravity in India? Do they got spicy food or good food? I heard in Swedwall the toilets flush upwards. <laughs> First of all, gross. <laughs> <laughs> just be. Don't we be counterintuitive? It's just, it's just you're, you're trying to get rid of it, not spew it up all over the place. This is ill. And just. <laughs> everything. I just. I mean, there's no. Like, where, where do you even start? How do, how do you answer any part of this? Just like, uh, uh, yes, gravity. Uh, they have, it depends on your definition of good food. I don't know where Sweatwald is, but no, toilets don't flush upwards anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> it, it just does not happen. Oh. Okay. Number 28. If Batman parents are died, then how was he born? It doesn't make sense how died parents can have children. Did they think this through? Okay. I am not a regular comic reader. I'm not into comics very much. I know enough to be able to have maybe a small conversation about some things, namely like, you know, like origin stories. Like I know the origin of Batman, for example. And yes, his parents are dead. They were killed by whoever. I think in at least one continuity it was by the Joker. And it was right in front of them. Okay. So and I I don't know why I felt like saying that because I don't dick about comic books. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, no no that's fine that's fine. But the point is, his parents were killed right in front of him when he was I, I want to say, I'm gonna guess eight or ten. He was like a child, basically. Yeah. And, and that's the whole point is that he watched his parents die at the hands of just you know common low life thug, and that was what convinced him to, you know, start training and take up the mantle and become the Batman because he felt that it was his duty to avenge his parents and clean up the streets of Gotham. There you go. Oh, number 29. How big is the specific ocean? The specific ocean. The specific, yes. <laughs> Could have been a little more specific with that. Just a little that bit. Question. I mean, it's a little bit. But, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna guess you're, you're you're actually meaning the Atlantic Ocean because you you don't specify which specific ocean you're talking about, and the Atlantic Ocean is pretty goddamn large. Not the largest, but pretty big. Yeah. Yeah. He he might have gone with the Pacific Ocean though. Which is extremely oh, large. Just saying. How big is the? <laughs> <laughs> see, see, sense, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, number 30. Do you guys think that if MJ hadn't died, he would still be alive today? MJ being Michael Jackson. Um, If he hadn't died, then yes, he he would in fact still be alive. That is yeah. that is how life and death works. Yes. Or he might not be. I mean, in all honesty, he could have died the, the, the next year or after he finished his This Is It tour. Right, but right. Then, he would, then he wouldn't be dead, so... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh... But uh, and and Love they you, have. They miss this... you, X, 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 What's your favorite song? I like Billie Jean. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's how I figured it was Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah. Oh, number thirty-one. Why does my arm shake and turn bright red when I'm eating dirt? Um. Something uh, in the dirt. Could be. Yeah. Are you, are you eating near like a landfill or a sewage treatment plant or something? I, are you eating? Are you eating dirt out of swamp water, or something, or or, or are you eating, are you eating sand? Because sand is technically clay. Yeah. Clay. Yeah. Um, but dude, don't eat dirt. That's probably no. why your arm is shaking. Because you really shouldn't eat dirt. It's yeah. really not very good for you at all. No. No. And I just. I just yeah. love that it's just it's just one of those things again. Like there's no specifics. It's just the you know the title. And, like, it, at first it seems fairly innocuous, and then it's just, like, the last word that just makes you go, like, it's like, why does my arm shake and turn bright red when I'm eating dirt? And it's just like, well, the reason for... What, what? <laughs> yeah, it's like... Uh, uh, well, there's your reason. That's yeah. That's probably your reason. Yeah, yep. there are nutrients in the dirt, but that's for plants. And, and, and plants. other things that are not human. It's for plants, it's for worms. Yeah. It's for... Yeah. Not for us people. No, 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 no. Number 32. Can I tell by the smell of my husband's gas if he has been cheating? I know this sounds crazy, but Hubs usually has his own smell. 
The family dog always knows when he has passed gas, even if he tries to be funny and blame it on the dog. Lately, he's had to work late a few times, and each time he's come home and his gas has smelled unlike anything I've ever smelled from him. Kind of like maybe he had Thai food or something. He says he has only been at work and not anywhere else, but something is definitely different. Do you think he's cheating? On his diet, maybe? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not on you. I, I, I highly doubt it would be on you, based on gas alone. I mean, unless you guys do something really kinky that we don't know about, it's... it's yeah. Pretty, yeah. <laughs> Just... Mm, all right. Number 33. How many calories are in a booger? I always pick my nose and eat my booger. It's addicting. How many calories are in a tiny roll of booger? <laughs> Sometimes wet and you gotta go. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. Only sometimes it's, it's wet and yellow. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, other times, uh, no. No, just, just no. Oh, man. Just, like, why? Why? Why would you? Well, apparently it's addicting. Apparently. I mean, it's just... And, and I, I have... like, do they think the calorie content changes if it's a different color? <laughs> or, or whether or not it's dry or wet? Uh, oh. What the hell? Oh. Define tiny roll. Yeah. <laughs> like, exactly what quantity are we talking about here? Yeah, like, yeah. how how tiny is tiny? Because um, I'm, I'm sure there is caloric content in a booger. I just don't happen to know it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Uh, wouldn't, wouldn't that, that would be an experiment for for the, the calorie counters. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Calorie counters, so, so Guys, if, if anyone, yeah, <laughs> right into the show, let us know how many calories are in a booger. <laughs> But only in a tiny roll. Yeah, in a tiny yes. roll, please. Has to be a tiny one. Uh, number 34. Is throwing your hair in the garbage safe? I wanted to be sure because in biology we learned that DNA – that it had DNA and stuff. So is is safe? Is is safe? Um, it is safe. It's pretty safe. Um, how do you think barber shops clean up after they're finished cutting your hair? I don't know. Maybe they just like reattach it to the, the next person or something. <laughs> and then cut that off. Be like, okay, you're done. They're like, wait, it's still the same length. I mean, I sort of get the question. Like, you know, is somebody going to steal my DNA? Um, the answer is no. It's <laughs> probably not going to happen. It's very, very slim chance that somebody's going to be like, oh, man, I'm going to commit this crime, and I really need someone else's DNA for this. So yeah, I'm going to go collect some garbage hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, you know, just, just, just... planted at the scene, <laughs> <laughs> just inconspicuously. Uh -huh. Nothing to see here. Right. You're, oh, you're just looking for hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, number thirty-five. What happens if you paint your teeth white with nail polish? My cousin always does this, and her teeth are really white. Is this bad for you? <laughs> um. Uh, okay, I... I can promise you that your cousin does not actually do this. It's, yeah. it's actually a whitening product. It's not nail polish. Yes, it does have a thing in it that looks like a nail polish brush, but it is actually teeth whitener. Yeah, that's all it is. That's all it is. That, that one actually is probably one of the most, I, I'm going to say the most innocent out of these because you just, you know, it's it's more, the most innocent ignorance I've seen in this list. Because it's like, yeah. you don't know, you know. Yeah, but yes, Eating nail polish would not be good for you. No, you don't eat it. Please no, don't I... eat nail polish. <laughs> yes. Uh, number 36. How do you get spaghetti stains out of underwear? I've gotten spaghetti stains in my underwear, my co white cotton underwear. I have spaghetti stains in my white cotton underwear. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> this, this it's like you're like trying it's to write a song. A, it's, 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 it's like you're trying to write a Dick and Jane book. Yeah, it's like, what the hell? I have spaghetti stains in my underwear. Do my white really... cotton underwear. I have spaghetti stains. I mean, yeah, oh. it, they're, they're just sort of mystified it by it. Like, it's just, do you normally eat spaghetti in your underwear? Is, is this Dick has spaghetti it? stains in his underwear. Jane's white cotton underwear. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, okay. number, number 37. Do you think humans will ever walk on the sun? 
I was just thinking and thought how crazy it was that a person walked on the moon and Mars. I was just wondering if you think a person will ever be able to walk on the sun too. I know it's really hot, but I'm thinking if you go in the winter where the sun is like 30 degrees, I bet they could do it. Especially if they go at night. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, if you go to the sun and the sun is 30 degrees, then we're all fucked. Just yeah. saying. We're, we're just ten times the fucked. Well, oh, and, my God. Uh, and even if even if the sun was 30 degrees and you could conceivably like land a spacecraft on it, it wouldn't matter because the gravity of the sun would just would just crush you the moment you set foot on it. Yeah. Yeah. So no, we are not. No, it would crush you long before you ever touch down on yeah, it. Yeah, there there are a lot of reasons that nobody will ever walk on the sun, and we honestly can't get into all of them. But yeah, um, no, <laughs> yeah. just no. no. Just there, there will be no walking. Walk. There will be no walking on sunshine here. Nope. <laughs> and finally. Oh man. Finally, number oh. 38, the M word. Why do black people call each other Monica? Is it a cultural thing? What's good, Monica? Monica, let's run some ball. Um, I hate to break it to you, Francis M. But, um, um, it, it's not Monica. They're not talking Monica. about Monica. No. It, they, they're, they're using a different word that, that you probably... No, God! <laughs> Did you just get it, Holly? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It, it, I was like Monica, like. <laughs> what are they mean? What's up, Monica? Because I'm like, yeah, no, I got it's, it now. Yeah, uh-huh. it, it's a term that 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 none of none of the three of us would probably use in the middle of Harlem. No, I, I'm not really even comfortable just talking about this one. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's like. I was like, are they Jamaican? Is it like they're saying Mon? I don't get it. Like, no, okay. <laughs> What's up, man? No. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, but I'm how would you get Ica? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, so, right. I'm yeah. caught up. <laughs> there you yeah. go. <laughs> but yes, that is 38 Yahoo questions that will destroy your faith in humanity. Oh, God. <laughs> or at the very least, just give you a good laugh. Yes. And this is this is... Now that now that that is all and done, that we have come to the end of our show for this week. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. We sure as hell enjoyed it. Yeah, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. And, and every now and then, you do need you do need a lighter show to just kind of just like yeah, sit back, laugh, and and give people Despite more things to make fun of. What your teachers told you when you were a kid: um, there are no stupid questions. Uh, just stupid answers that's wrong there are plenty of stupid questions <laughs> and i always think of that the scene from south park uh where he's just like that's okay eric there are no stupid questions just yeah, stupid, stupid people, people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes and and i subscribe very much to that line from mr garrison yes mm. uh, because this is proof there are stupid people the questions aren't stupid it's just the people asking them are they just that stupid become a yes. mermaid jeebus oh <laughs> So thank you guys for listening. We will catch you next time. If we wanted to find uh, Holly Christine on the uh, social medias and such, where could we find her? You could find me at Gooky Gox, G-O-O-K-Y-G-O-X, and that's Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram, all sorts of social media. And you can find my Etsy store, gookygox.etsy.com. That's jewelry for those of you who haven't been to my store yet. And um, you can find me over at Nerdvice, and my Facebook fan page is Holly Christine Brown. Yay! And if we wanted okay. to find Gonzo Link, where could we find him? You can find me on Twitter and Tumblr, uh, at Gonzo Link. I also have a YouTube page with the same name. I'm also on the Gotham High audio drama, and I am a part of Team Brotherhood's abridged series of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Sweet! And if you want to find me on the social medias and all that place, I am on Twitter and Tumblr at gomer 21 X. You can find my stuff on rtgomer.com and nerdvice.com. And if you like this show and you like the productions that I put out and you want to toss money at it to help with equipment costs and upkeeps and everything, uh, then head over to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash gomer 21 X. And if you happen to like the artwork that's up here right now by the beautiful and lovely Becky Hopkins, then go visit her Patreon page, patreon.com slash Becky Hop. Throw some money at her, and you'll get some fantastic artwork. And if you throw enough money at her, she'll do a 30-second animation. Did I mention she's an award-winning animator? It's true. Go check her out. So 
with all of that, thank you guys for listening. We will catch you next time. And until then, this is Gomer the Ranting Thespian with Holly Christine and Gonzo Link signing off. Bye. See ya. Constructive Deconstruction is an RT Gomer Productions presentation. Check us out at rtgomer.com.